Which is inducingly precise as the last two. I'm a practitioner master of the cliffhanger, if you couldn't tell. Also, YouTube thinks it's hilarious to arbitrarily cut the ends of my videos. Not only is this stage a breeze, it's also the funnest by a mile. I suppose you'd expect the atrociously boring boss battle to sully things a little, but a so-called AI falls somewhere between the complexity of your opponent from pawn and none at all, so breaking his shield is simply a matter of firing properly. As for the stage, the simple reason I love it so much is because X is on rails half the time, so trying vainly to speed up the tedium of you watching his poor arthritic ass try vainly to shuffle along the ground is taken care of for me. And since X's momentum carries on off of the shuttles, it makes for some pretty interesting time savers when you're trying to delay X's humiliatingly slow shuffling a tad more, namely by careening his ass off into the great unknown and hoping he don't crash into anything pointy looking. Those jumps are pretty much the only precise part of a really freebie stage, but I did them anyway because I love you all that much. As for any small amounts of pain in between, the only aggravations are triggering the damned Mets, and watching the huge ass moles overclock the game's engine to the point where X's already snail paced walk might as well be going backwards. Hmm. Eh, I guess it's worth throwing out there that this music is starting to remind me of Casino Night Zone. I guess. If it were on crack or remotely resembled rock in any way. And that it makes me want to gamble and that I have nothing noteworthy to fill the silence between portions of gameplay that actually matter. Hey, speaking of, the final minecart can be a pain in the ass under the sole pretense of taking an inexplicable hit when you pass by the miners themselves. I'll also assume that the pure sex of that last sleek jump was as good for you as it was for me. Armored Armadillo himself presents a troublesome logic Capcom seems to enjoy profusely in this game, which is that lengthening battles through abnormally high defense somehow makes them harder. It's less of a problem here than it is with Sigma's god-awful second form, though, since Armadillo's thought process concerning his actual defense seems to be forgetting he has indestructible fucking shields every two seconds, and just sort of standing there watching X shoot him with a vaguely amazed expression on his face. All you need to do to cut this battle down to a third of what it normally takes is pellet him until his arms get tired, or whatever the hell happens to him. Or fire off mid-charge shots in a pattern that'd be slightly too complex for a toddler if he'd hit his head a suspicious number of times. Armadillo can't do shit but sit there and take numerous hits since each actual hit resets his trigger to fire back at you. The only real annoyance is that he'll have a rare flash of cognitive brilliance and actually change up his blocking pattern which means your shot is absorbed, and you get to have fun watching a needlessly lengthy attack animation with no payoff, otherwise known as Final Fantasy Syndrome. Well, that's pretty much everything I had to say except for a little blurb about the next stage to set it up, assuming YouTube doesn't feel cute and decide to cut me off mid